Hey YouTube, we got a great show planned for you today. Uh, we're doing an unboxing on some Vickery radio parts, and you saw it here, so let's get started. I uh, just got these uh, radios ordered for a couple of jobs that we have going. We wanted to get a couple different models, and I still have a couple more on the way, but we're going to open up these right now. Uh, we wanted to have a couple of different models so we can show our customer uh, the different models and figure out which one they like best and use that one for their radio system. So, this big box is a 900 megahertz Yagi antenna. Air Max Ubiquity uh, N900 radio. Uh, Ubiquity, for those of you who are not familiar, they make a really great uh, low cost uh, wireless radio technology that has, uh, they use uh, Air Max technology, which greatly improves network performance and point to multi point uh, environment. And for about 100 bucks, you can get a 100 megabit per second connection link. The Yagi antennas come in a package of two, so we just move this up. And these are a little bit different than I expected. I actually haven't seen a detailed photo of them. But let's get this out of the way. So, um, they are taped together and well padded with foam. Let me just take that off so we can get a closer look at them. Again, this is a 900 megahertz uh, Yagi antenna. What that is, is a directional um, for uh, long distances and the 900 megahertz frequency will actually provide a um, a less than ideal uh, radio conditions. If there's little to no line of sight, uh, the 900 megahertz frequency will actually bend around buildings and trees to establish a radio connection. Something that is not as um, possible with the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum, which we'll see in a minute. But overall, this looks like a really nice antenna. Um, again, these came in a package of two, and the shipping was a little bit expensive, but the two antennas were $200 for both, so about $100 for an antenna, which is a lot less expensive than other solutions. So, we got the 900 megahertz Yagi. Uh, on the back side, you can see we have a bowl mounting bracket, and on this side, we have... Oh, Charlie! No, Charlie! Look at my dog. He knocked over my camera. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Don't do that. I'm messing up my video. Okay. So... Couple owner manuals. Let's get into the other boxes. Move this out of the way. And this one, I believe, is actually the uh, radio for that bad boy. So we will get put that up. Uh, some of the ubiquity radio models, they are a antenna and radio inclusive. So it simply needs a power over Ethernet to power it and. You don't need an external antenna. The 900 megahertz has an external antenna, and you'll see we'll see when the um, when we lock the radio in there how it looks. Oh, not the N900, just the window wall mounting kit for a nano station. Um, I'm sure, you're not very interested in that. So. Unfortunately, we won't be able to hook up the M900 today, but it would slide in right here and hook up using these two uh, pre-installed cables and make a really great radio link. And 
And so finally, on our box opening, we have a 5.8 gigahertz nano dish, I believe. Or let's see. So here's the dish. Um, the antenna is a separate. It's a nano bridge N5, 5 gigahertz Air Max 2x2 dish antenna feed. And so this is actually going to go inside of this dish. Uh, full mounting kit. And I don't know if this is. Another uh, mounting bracket uh, has elevation so you could really tune in that, that signal strength. Uh, one of the things I really like about the Ubuntu product is that each radio has a web page configuration that actually goes as far as having an in-depth spectrum analysis so you can see exactly what's going on with your radio loop. Um, normally you would have to get you know, a thousand dollar spectrum analyzer to do this. The Ubiquiti products come with that built in and it runs on Java. So here's the little antenna. You can see that's the uh, PoE port. Comes with a quick start guide. So we back into this. So it's kind of, I imagine, slides in here. And that goes like so. Probably have to look at the uh, assembly instructions, but that's more or less the idea of it. And it comes with a POE injector, full LAN port, one POE port, and that's going to do it. Um, really recommend the Ubiquiti product, and thanks for watching the uh, unboxing. Have a good day.